Diabetes affects millions of people every year and unfortunately there is no cure. However, there are various forms of treatment and ways to control it. There are two main types, type 1 and type 2. Type 2 is far more common and in the UK alone, 90% of adults with diabetes are suffering with it. Diabetes is a lifelong autoimmune condition that causes a person to either not produce insulin in type 1 or not effectively use the little insulin that it produces in type 2. Hi Lauren, so thank you for coming to speak with me today. With diabetes there's obviously long term effects and complications but there are also short term ones as well. So what happens on a weekly basis? The complications that occur on a weekly basis tend to be hypers and hypos. Could you please explain to me what a hypo is? Basically a hypo is when your blood goes below 4. So say you were about to have a low, what would you do about it? Um, to treat it you need to have 15 grams of fast acting carbs such as jelly babies or glucose tablets. Um, you can also have things like full sugar drinks and you then have to wait 15 minutes to see if your blood's changed. If they don't you need to repeat it. That sounds like quite an unpleasant experience. Well the best way to describe it is like having jelly legs or a similar experience to once you've done a lot of exercise and you feel like you're going to collapse. So diabetes is a lot more serious than people think then. I've been living with diabetes for about seven years now. The sudden change in lifestyle took me by surprise. I didn't do my own blood sugars or injections for a month because I was so scared. I had to deal with the stereotypes surrounding what diabetes involved. Many people thought they'd develop it drinking too much coke, but it's actually to do with carbs. My family didn't understand at first. They would tell me I couldn't eat certain things, but still expected me to eat. They thought they knew what was best, when in reality, they had no idea. I converted to a pump three years ago. Now I don't have to worry about carrying needles or forgetting any equipment. I can eat at any time, so it's more convenient. There's no minimum carb amount, but the insulin is injected slowly, so I do have to take into account the time I'm eating. Chloe, when were you diagnosed with diabetes? I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes on the 29th of November 2013. How did you find out? Um, I was going to the doctors because I was losing a lot of weight at the time and there was problems with like mental health and stuff. So we were going to like sort stuff out with that and then like he decided to do a few tests to see about diabetes because it had been a few months and I wasn't getting any better. So after that like the test came back as like I had diabetes and I was sent to in here to be treated because I was quite ill. Has it ever stopped you doing anything having diabetes? Um, it doesn't really stop me doing anything. It just depends on what my sugar levels are like at the time. Like more often than not I don't have any problem leading a normal life but if they're too high or too low it'll have a really bad effect. Have, do you think you've gained anything from being a diabetic? Um, I've gained a lot um, of experience since being diagnosed with diabetes because I've ended up working with uh, Diabetes UK on a few projects, um, promoting some competitions they've run and also working with the Type 1 Uncut YouTube channel to produce content for young people. So how do you treat diabetes on a, on a daily, daily life? Um, at the moment I'm using four injections a day so three of those are to do with like one with each meal and the last one's a background insulin um, so that's just like running along all day and that has to be taken the same time every day and I have to test my blood a lot as well to make sure I'm in like a safe level.